What's up, YouTube? What's up, sports fans? It's Sean P. I went 4-0 last week in Wild Card Weekend. I made up for an abysmal 0-4 in Week 17. And I just went back to the basics. I went back to, you know, kind of getting a feel for the game and, and what do you think is going to happen, you know, kind of channeling that, not so much looking at trends and over-unders and, you know, all that kind of stuff. Um, you know, what, what, what was the last time they played? What was the score? What was the, you know, whatever, all that stuff, okay? I... I went back to basics, and it worked. I went 4-0. I'm going to look to continue that this week, and I'm going to stick back to the basics. So having said that, the first game we're going to look at this week is the uh, Baltimore Ravens versus the Denver Broncos. And the Baltimore Ravens are plus 9.5 in this game. Now, I like these teams a lot, both of them. And out of the AFC, these were my two top choices to come out of it you know, before the playoffs and actually make it to the Super Bowl. So having said that, uh, I do think the Broncos are going to pull this out here. Um, but, I, I mean, I don't think it's going to be more than minus 9.5. I mean, that's like a 10-point victory in essence. So let's go with Baltimore here, plus 9.5. Um, I feel pretty good about that. I mean, I could even see Baltimore getting an upset here. Um, again, I do like whatever team wins this game to go to the Super Bowl um, from the AFC. That's just my opinion. Um, so let's go with Baltimore, plus 9.5. I feel pretty good about that pick. All right, the first game on Saturday we're going to be looking at is the Denver Broncos hosting the Baltimore Ravens. The Baltimore Ravens just came off a pretty big victory against the Colts. It was Ray Lewis's last game at M&T Bank in Baltimore, and the Broncos had a bye, so they were well-rested. Uh, my pick for this game is going to be the Denver Broncos, minus 9.5, for a couple reasons. One is they spent a lot of energy into getting Ray Lewis that win in his last game because uh, he's retiring. Uh, they have to fly halfway across the country to Denver in a high altitude. So how much energy are they going to have left? Um, Denver has going to utilize the no huddle. The defense is going to be gassed by the second half. So I think this could be a pretty easy victory for the Denver Broncos. They're going to shut down Ray Rice. They have two good shutdown corners in Champ Bailey and Tony Carter, who will be able to handle Bolden and Smith. So all they really have to do is worry about the screen passes, dump passes off to Ray Rice. If they can stop that, this game will be an easy victory for the Denver Broncos. The Colts put up 400 yards on offense in, against the uh, Baltimore Ravens, and they only scored nine points. If the Broncos put up 400 yards, they're not going to score nine points. They're going to score a lot more, closer to the 30s range. And Joe Flacco, if they make them one-dimensional on pass, it's just not going to be good for him. And so this way... So that way, I like the Denver Broncos. Minus nine and a half. Take them. All right, the next game we're going to be looking at on Saturday is the 49ers hosting the Packers in the divisional round here. The Packers, I don't really think that was much of a uh, victory for them last week. They had Joe Webb at quarterback. The Minnesota Vikings did. He's not much of a quarterback. He couldn't throw, and you could all see that. But, however, they did stop. Adrian Peterson for under 100 yards, which is a uh, big plus. They're going to have to do that against the 49ers to be able to win this game. And I like the Packers plus three to cover this game. I just think Aaron Rodgers is going to be too much for Colin Kaepernick. The first, um, this is the first playoff game for him. Uh, I don't think he's going to be able to get it done. I think Alex Smith would have had a better shot at beating the Packers, but that's not my call. So my pick is the Green Bay Packers plus three. I just don't think Kaepernick is going to be able to keep up with Aaron Rodgers. So take them. All right, so in this game, I like Green Bay plus three. Um, I actually like Green Bay to win outright. I think that they're just going to give Colin Kaepernick a hard time in his first playoff start. Um, I just don't see Green Bay losing this game, much less losing it by more than three. I mean, we're getting plus three at that. So the only thing that's a little tricky about this game to me was that the line was kind of shocking to me. I actually expected the Packers would be favored. I mean, I know the 49ers are at home and they just came off the bye. But, I mean, I still expected the Packers to be favored. I mean, you know, even if it was minus one, minus two, minus three area. So when I saw the Packers were plus three, I mean, I was kind of confused. But um, I like the Packers went out right, so I love them plus three. So let's take it. All right, so the third game we're going to get into here is the Atlanta Falcons, minus one versus the Seattle Seahawks. Now, I have a strong feeling in this game that Atlanta will win, and it's only minus one, so you might as well take the minus one there. Um, I just think Matt Ryan's going to get his first playoff win. I think the buck stops here for Seattle. They had a great season. Russell Wilson outplayed expectations, and more props to him for that. Um, but this game, I just see Atlanta winning it. They've been great at home. Um, they've got two great wide receivers, possibly the best tandem in the league 
Uh, Matt Ryan's been playing really well this season. Um, they've got Michael Turner in the backfield along with Shaquiz Rogers, so the offense is pretty stacked. Um, Seattle's defense didn't look that great last week against RG3 when he was somewhat healthier for the first you know, quarter, first two drives, I believe they came right down and scored, moved the ball completely easily almost on the Seahawks defense. So um, I like Atlanta here to win this game outright, so let's take Atlanta minus one. All right, the first game we're going to look at on Sunday is the Atlanta Falcons hosting the Seattle Seahawks. The Seattle Seahawks came off a victory against the Washington Redskins with RG3 hurt, so I don't know how impressive or what the game would be if he was 100%, but we can only go with what we have, and that is that the Seattle won the game, and they will be going to the Atlanta Falcons. I'm going to be taking the Falcons minus 2.5 in this game because I think it's it's very tough in the NFL to have the travel east Co- west coast to east coast once, but now they have to do it twice. They have, they've traveled to Washington, they won. Now they have, they're going back to Seattle, and then they're going to have to come back again to Atlanta. That's very hard to do. That's very taxing. Um, I know it's the playoffs. Uh, you got to suck it up, but it's still very, very tough to do to travel across the country two times in a row, uh, two weeks in a row. So I just think the uh, Seattle might have a little bit of a letdown. They might be tired. Uh, I just think it's Matt Ryan's time to finally win a playoff game. Uh, I know Seattle has two very good corners, and they might be able to limit Roddy White and Julio Jones. But uh, I look for. Tony Gonzalez to have a huge day. The uh, Michael Turner will be able to do just enough, and the Falcons will win this game by two and a half or more. So I'm going to take the Falcons minus two and a half. So take them. All right, the last game of the weekend will be the New England Patriots hosting the Houston Texans. The Houston Texans, I don't think, had a very impressive victory over the Cincinnati Bengals last week. They only won 19-13, very low-scoring game. They have to score a lot more points than that to be able to beat the New England Patriots who are going to put up a lot of points. I don't see it happening. I like the New England Patriots minus 9.5 in this game. Tom Brady is just excellent. Two weeks to prepare for this game. Uh, Belichick's the best in the business. He, they're going to have his, uh, he'll have his guys ready to play. Uh, I see the Patriots winning, by the, winning this game by 14 or more, and I just don't see Houston being able to keep up. So my pick for this game is the New England Patriots minus 9.5. Take them. All right, so the final game we're going to look at is the Houston Texans plus 9.5 versus the New England Patriots. So I'm going to go with the Houston Texans here plus 9.5. I've said all year I don't believe in the Texans team, and I really don't, but I'm not too sure how much I believe in the Patriots offense versus a good defense. Now, I know they've had their moments this season, and they've put up a lot of points, and they had like seven or or, or six weeks in a row where they put up, you know, over 30 or something, you know, I mean, whatever it was. But you know, I just, I just don't think they're going to get it done here against this Houston Texans defense. Um, I think the Texans defense is going to come out fired up. Uh, they played. I mean, they basically destroyed Cincinnati last week on offense. I mean, Andy Dalton looked confused. Um, but you know, I just don't think that the Patriots can win by more than ten. I think the Patriots will win. I just don't know that it'll be more than ten. I mean, I think Houston plays it a little bit closer than that. I mean, they've got the best running back in the league, and who do the Patriots have, you know, on defense to really to slow him down? So uh, let's go with Houston here, plus 9.5. All right, so there you have it. There's our uh, conference picks for this weekend. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe, leave your comments below, let us know your picks. And as always, we will see you next week for the conference championships.